Alright, welcome back to Dragon Age Origins. We are helping with the Battle of Red Cliff since they're being attacked by corpses every single night. I googled it and found out that uh, lockpicking actually relies on cunning, not dexterity, which is disappointing to me. But that's fine. <laughs> I'm scared, Mother. When are the bad men coming? Soon, darling. Don't worry. It shall be done. Everything will be all right. But I want to go home. Where is Father? Why can't we go home? The wind leveled up. Oh. She can steal things, too? What? When? Do I care if she knows trap making? I probably won't make a lot of traps. Uh, I don't think that. I already told you. Father is outside defending the village from the bad men. We must stay here and be brave. Can you do that? I... I guess so. Sorry. Am I bothering you? I'll, I'll try to be more quiet. Those... Those things dragged my mother away. I don't know what happened to her, but I hear her screaming all the time. Everywhere. How terrible, you poor thing. I wish there was something we could do to help. And now my brother Bevan, he, he ran off. I, I don't know where he is. I'm so scared they got him too. You will. Thank you so much. Please find him. I'm so scared, Father. What are we going to yes. do? <laughs> Silence, girl. Do you want the children to hear you? But night is coming. The monsters will return and we sit here and wait for them. We have no choice. We must pray. Let us pray. Blessed art thou who exists. Everything will be all right. So many have All These right. people don't deserve what has happened to them. We must get to the bottom of this. You know, we don't have the men we need. And their numbers just keep growing each night. Well, sure, they take the dead and they, you know... I don't want to think about that. Still no sign of them coming back from the castle, Murdoch. Tell them to maintain watch. I don't want a surprise attack before the sun goes down. Yes, sir. What should we do until then? Pray, and hope for a miracle. <laughs> So I you're the hear? Grey Warden, are you? I didn't think they made women Grey Wardens. So you say, a damn Kunari could walk up and say he was a Grey Warden. I wouldn't know the difference. We aren't gonna turn aside anyone who wants to help, though. Don't take me for being an ingrate or nothing. Well, we do want to help however we can. You can trust us. Name's Murdoch, mayor of what's left of the village. Providing we aren't all killed and hauled off to the castle tonight. <laughs> yep. I... Persuade. I hope you're right. <laughs> Persuade. I've been trying to hold us together, but it isn't easy. Anyhow, you're here, and they tell me you're in charge. <laughs> yes. We need what little armor and weapons we got repaired, and quickly, or half of us will be fighting without either. Owen's the only blacksmith who can do it, but the stubborn fool refuses to even talk. If we're to be ready for tonight, we'll need that crotchety bastard's help. 
I'd appreciate it. If he doesn't help, he'll die like the rest of us. What good will that do anyone then? All right. Um, I think... Let's explore town down here. And then we'll head up the hill. Go away. Curse you! Leave me in peace! You've already taken everything out of my stores. There's nothing left. Huh? Who is that? What do you want? I've been through enough. Hmm? All right, all right. Yes, Let persuade. me undo the lock. <laughs> all I ask is that you don't make any trouble. Of course not. Of course. I'm not here for trouble. Make his breath. What is that smell? It's like someone set a brewery on fire. Somebody's been drinking. So I'll let you in. <laughs> You wanted to talk, now we're talking. Mind telling me who you are? A Grey Warden, is it? <laughs> it takes all kinds. Funny you didn't sound like an elf through the door. Can't say I expected that. Anyhow, my name's Owen, though you might already know that. Care to join me as I get besotted? Or is there something in particular you wanted? My girl, Velena, is one of the Alessa's maids and she's trapped up there in the castle but the mayor won't send anyone for her. She's been my life since my wife passed on two years ago. Now she's dead, or soon to be. I don't care what happens to me or the village or anyone. It'd do me the world of good to think maybe someone like you could go in and find her. Provided any of us live through the night. You'll live. If you look for Velena, I'll reopen the smithy and make some repairs for the militia. I can do that much. Not good enough. Murdoch said the same damned thing, and I didn't believe him either. I want a promise. Promise me that you'll look for her. That you'll bring her back to me if you can. We will do our best. Please believe us, friend. I'll accept that. It's something to hope for, at least. I right literally then. have to go to the castle anyway. It seems I have some work to do, relighting the forge, and I suppose I'll have to find some iron. Hmm, maybe at the mill. Oh, Murdoch just better send his men here as soon as possible if I'm going to get to all these repairs and get them done by nightfall. If you need anything done, well... Just let me know. I've got a lot to do now, so you'll have to excuse me. Yay. Hey, I see you found my hiding place. I stuck some old equipment in there before Murdoch could get his hands on it. Can I take it? <laughs> no, I'll... I'll leave it. I don't think I have enough high skill enough to lockpick it anyway. Well, it looks like Owen's finally doing the repairs we need. The damn fool is falling over a drunk and still manages to make smithying look easy. Good enough, I say. I'll inform Bantig and the militia is ready to fight. We'll give those bastards a welcome they won't soon forget. I hope you're right. We may just be village folk. But we're going to fight like there's no tomorrow. Yes. You'll find him and his men at the mill by the bridge, to the north. I have a good feeling about tonight. Nice. Okay, now I gotta talk to the other guy. Probably shouldn't walk through the firing range. Just probably. Death route, nice. Where does this go? Probably nowhere. Ooh, loot.
Yeah, I didn't think so. Dang it. I have really high cutting. Too bad mages can't learn to how to lockpick. Very well. Another doomed soul come to drown their sorrows here, I see. If you came here for a drink, you'd have to talk to Lloyd. He's got a vice grip on the spigots. I'm just here to keep the boys from mutiny. <laughs> Elf in the corner. I love how this is a dialogue option, and I have not seen an elf in the corner yet because I literally just walked in. Whatever. What business? Without the castle soldiers, the only customers we have are local. And they're all in the militia with no money to spend. The few with any money are here, but it's not enough to justify working. Lloyd's a... greasy pig. And if I didn't need this job so badly, I... He gropes me and pays me next to nothing. But I suppose it could be worse. Not like I've got many options. No, no. That'll just make things worse. And that's very sweet. But I'll be fine. I'd like that. And maybe we could talk after the battle tonight. If we're still here, that is. <laughs> Not much. He's very quiet. Says his name's Beric and he's here to meet his brother, but I think he's lying. He's a bit... creepy. Keep safe. Not looking for company. Why? I don't live here. Just waiting until I can leave again. What? How did you know that? Uh, well, that's my name. Why? I... no reason. I just didn't know how you knew my name. That's all. Oh, I guess that uh, makes sense. Look, you're very pretty and all, but I was told to... Uh, just leave me alone. Told to? Nothing! Nobody told me to do anything. Just because you're a Grey Warden doesn't mean you can go around threatening people. How do you know I'm a Grey Warden? But my if persuasion I, is high but enough. I never... <laughs> oh, all right, I'll tell you. Just... just don't hurt me. This is more than I bargained for. Look, they just paid me to watch the castle and send word if anything should change. But they never said anything about monsters. I haven't even been able to report anything since this started. I'm stuck. Same as you, I swear. A tall fellow. I forget his name. He, uh, said he was working for Hal. Arl Rendon Hal. He's an important man. Terran Logan's right hand. So I didn't do anything wrong. Just to report any changes. Honest. All I could send word about was the Arl getting sick. After that, monsters started coming from the castle. I don't know anything about these creatures. When the Arl got sick, I got scared that people would think I was involved. But I swear I don't know anything about it. They sent me to watch. Maybe they knew the Arl would get sick. I don't know. Here, this is a letter from them. It has instructions and everything. Keep it, do whatever you want with it. I just thought I was serving the king and making a bit of coin on the side. You have to believe me. I believe him, but... Oh, all right. I'll do it. Thank you for your mercy. I won't forget it. Yay. Got the letter for his... Berwick, we need your eye, your eyes and ears in Redcliffe. Stay in, villi in the village. Keep your head down and watch the castle. Report any changes and you'll be well paid. Not a very detailed letter, but of course I didn't expect it to be. <laughs> okay, now to go... What's over here? Nothing. Hmm. Now to go find... What is his name? Sir Perth? Is that who I'm looking for? Something over there by the bridge. 
across the bridge up by the mill. That house is fun. It's out in the middle. Yes, what can I do for you? Very well. Do you think the tower is ever going to get back to what it was, Wynn? I don't know. I don't think A so. great number of people died. It will be difficult to imagine rebuilding with that cloud hanging over everything for many years to come. Do you think you'll be there? To help rebuild, I mean, once this is all over with? I cannot say. Even if I survive this blight, I am a very old woman, Alistair. Why? Because of some grey hair? You are a formidable woman, Wynn. You could see that it happens. I think you overestimate the number of years I have left. But perhaps you were right. Or perhaps the memories of what happened there will be too strong for me to face. I have a hard time believing that. Well, it's good to have someone that believes in me, so... Now if I could only feel the same way myself, that would be something. I don't think I'm allowed to go up here. Yeah, it's locked. Here. Ooh. I didn't know this was up here. Anyway, let's go talk to the man first. Greetings, Grey Warden. I am as relieved as Ban Tegan is to see you here. I must admit, I do not know how to address an elf in your position. I do not wish to be rude. As you wish, and thank you kindly. I am Sir Perth, until recently in direct service of Arl Eamon of Redcliffe. For now my charge is defending the village from these evil assaults. Would that I had chosen not to seek out the urn of sacred ashes. Perhaps I would have fended off whatever evil befell the castle, or perhaps I would be dead. Ah well, with a great warden aiding our defence, perhaps all is not lost. Of course not. We have sufficient armor and weapons, but my knights are too few to stand against the monsters without assistance. Perhaps you could approach Mother Hannah in the Chantry for some holy protection against these evil creatures. Otherwise, I do not know what else you could provide beyond your own talents. We're as prepared for the onslaught as we could possibly be, all things considered. Ask me whatever you wish. When the Isle fell sick, we were at the loss. Nothing worked to cure him, and he just kept getting worse. Finally, our lesser Isold came up with a plan. The urn of sacred ashes is a legendary artifact said to hold great healing powers. If found, it might save him. They say the followers of Andraste smuggled her ashes out of Tevinta and hid them in Ferelden. The urn's never been heard of since. We knights volunteered to seek it out. Few of us have returned. Many are still out there, unaware of what is happening here. Eventually, perhaps. The ones I have here were those near enough to recall within the last few days. I only returned myself because I was passing by Redcliffe and heard the news of strange attacks. As you wish, Grey Warden. Make a watch over you. It shall be done. Ah, it's sort of like coming home again, but with more undead. It is be undead. Yeah. And can't do anything here. Correspondence interrupts. Collection of embarrassing personal communications between the spoiled wealthy and their objects of obsession. You are filthy, a beast, a subs depravity I have never been forced to suffer. How words are so laden when you they leave your lips is beyond, beyond decent imagining. Madam, I love you.
Oh yeah, I wanted to check out up here. Then I will head to town and explore the rest of it. See what's happening around the area. Ah, oh, there's Thomas's post. Oh, I can't believe how relieved I was to hear you're helping us. Maybe we do have a chance tonight. So this must have been kind of where I came from, I guess. Can't go inside. Because he met us at the bridge with his post. Yeah, just up there's world map. Okay. Yeah. It's like, hey. Okay, let's see what the rest of town has to offer. I do know there's one other person I can get to help fight the undead at night. I don't remember where in town they are, but they're, they're, they're around somewhere. It's so pretty, like the pink windows. Mm -hmm. Gotta talk to the holy mother, the chantry leader, the lady, what, what's her face? This lady. Mother you are of elven blood and a stranger, yet you defend a home that is not your own. We are grateful for that. Of course. Not many in these modern days would honestly say the same. You are a woman of worth and the Maker will smile upon you. Allow me to introduce myself. I am revered Mother Hannah, head of this Chantry, which for the moment is a place of refuge for these poor villagers. Surely this cannot be the entire village. These few are all who are left. All those who cannot defend themselves, yes. They are terrified of tonight's attack, and I fear these walls will not keep them safe. What can I do to help with your task? I have done all I can for them. I pray for them each night and seek the Maker's forgiveness for their sins before they face their deaths. What Sir Perth seeks is something that is not in my power to give. Sir Perth believes that I can protect them against these creatures, a shield only the Maker can provide, and that I withhold this power. Well, can't you just tell him the Maker will watch over him? Morale is a powerful thing, you know. You mean you want me to let them think the Maker protects them in a real sense? I will not lie to them like that. I agree with Alistair, though. Because if they think it helps them, then it ups their morale. I suppose their belief in the Maker's power could inspire them, but it just seems like trickery. Very well. If it keeps them alive, I will do what I must. I have a number of silver cast holy symbols. Tell Sir Perth that he can have them, and that wearing them will confer the Maker's protection. Now please, let me tend to these poor folk. I must do what I can, and I suggest you do the same. Yes. Holy protection. I don't have enough skill to pick the lock on the door. <laughs> Wonderful. Intruders. I hope you have a good reason for breaking and entering into my home. Apology accepted. The name's Dwin. Pleased to meet you. Now get out. Surviving. We have supplies to last for quite some time. 
And my boys and I can swing a weapon better than any of those fools out there. Why? When did this town ever rush to my rescue? You look more than competent. With you out there, they don't really need me, do they? Where is my persuade option? <laughs> Thanks. But I'll take my chances in here. Everyone else can run around in the open waiting to die. Maybe. Let's hear what you've got. Gold. Put in good word with you. Hmm. You might just be able to pull that off. Fine. I'll throw in with the militia. For now. You better be out there too when the sun goes down. I'm not fighting for a lost cause, you hear me? Yes, yes, I hear you. Ooh, level up. I just want I need Liliana to level up so I can pick more locks. Let's do and do I want willpower? Magic. Let's do let's do willpower here. Master coercion. <laughs> yes. Then let's increase fast weapons. I shall do it. Lamp oil in these barrels. That's locked. Hmm? Huh? Of course. away. This isn't your home. Young man, come out this instant. I... Yes, ma'am. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> All right. I came out. You won't hurt me. Will you? I'll go back to the Chantry if you really want. Man. You can see... That's... I'm a little distracted because... This, this sleeve, that texture looks so good. Anyway, <laughs> just like you can see like the weave of, I'm assuming linen of some sort, like, oh, that's so cool. Anyway. I just didn't want to be at the Chantry anymore. Everyone's scared and I want to be brave. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Yay. Ooh, I can go upstairs. I don't think I can do that. Nope. I require a key for that. It's not even a skill thing. Okay, now I need to talk to Stop fidgeting. I don't like being out here. Talk to this guy up here. And then start the raid, I guess. Yeah, I've got the help. I've got their quest done. Oh, I should talk to the I should talk to the girl. See if there's anything she has. The Knights of Redcliffe are ready to fight at your disposal. Have you spoken to the revered mother? 
Has she offered anything? Must we do this? The faith that will protect these men must come from their heart, surely. If they are the same as the symbols worn by their priests, well, that would more than suffice. I will send some men to collect the amulets. Please give my regards to Mother Hannah for seeing some sense at last. See, I, you could use the oil. As you um, wish, Grey Warden. Make a watch over you. But having fought this before... Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, Liliana. Um, but having done this before, I know this is the area that will be lit on fire. And if you're standing here, that's fine. Except for when the AI for your warrior says, go attack this guy, and they walk straight through the fire. But yeah, that's a thing. I love these waterfalls. It's cool. Now to go talk to the lady in the chantry. Ah, there she is. Evan said you were the one who found him. I can't possibly repay you. The Maker sent you. I just know it. Thank you again. Yeah! Getting back approval. <laughs> what is it you need, child? May the Maker watch over you, child. Thanks. The Sir Perth said something about giving her his regards, so... I thought there might be a dialogue option for it, but there was not. I guess... Let's bring on the night. The repairs are underway surprisingly quickly, considering how drunk Owen is. We may just make it. The men's spirits are high for now. Far better than I expected, to be honest. Dwin's presence makes the men a bit more confident. It helps to know a veteran is on our side tonight. Since you convinced Owen to start repairs, we're pretty well armed now. That is a relief, let me tell you. Overall, I'd say the militia's very ready to fight. Never thought I'd say that, but there you go. Is there anything else? I'm gonna I save. have a good feeling about tonight. And then we can then we can start. And is this the party I want for the night? Uh, two mages, two front lines. Um she focused mostly on healing, so I do I do want win. Um Morgan, I think, would be fine. Mm, no, let's keep this. Alright. The repairs are underway surprisingly quickly, considering how drunk Owen... Are you sure? There's still time left if you need to talk with Sir Perth or do anything else. Are you telling me that because I'm missing something? Or is that just a dialogue option you're supposed to tell me? I think I'm ready. Then good luck to you. You'll need it. Thanks. It's gonna crash, isn't it? No, oh, no, it worked. coming get to your positions make ready Give them 
just says range allies. Okay, sustained, and it's for the whole party. Okay. Ah! 
Is there someone who sells things around here? It shall be done. <laughs> like I'll head no swimming. There's a shopkeep here. There is, I haven't found him. Sell stuff. I must admit, it feels good to be up and doing something finally. There's no way I'm sobering up before morning, however. <laughs> right. 
I haven't got much, obviously, but I'll do whatever I can for you. Oh, good. He does have a store. Okay. I would like... Well, first off, I'm just gonna sell these things I'm not going to use. These two-handed weapons I would give to, um... Sten. So, Grace, what's better? A lot of these here. I think they're mostly for crafting and stuff. But. And of course, there's gifts. And look. This would be a lot better. No, well, I was looking at the equipped. So, no. Okay, what about... No, it looks like... So these would be... the scale gloves would be better for Liliana. So let's do those. And the scale armor would be better for her, but I don't have enough money for that. Must admit, if it was I sell those other gloves. And let's go into well I have to leave this area, I think. There we go. Let's go into party. Oh, of all the that... Indeed. Yes. And oops, except. I want to equip all of them with stuff. Then I don't have to carry it anymore.
He doesn't really seem like the bow and arrow type guy to me, but then he's carrying it and I don't have to worry about the equipment. <laughs> he looks ridiculous, I love it. Sell that. Vashadan. Blast and damnation. Yes. Yes. Indeed. Yeah. I must admit, it feels good to be up and All right. To sell. That and that. Okay. Actually, before we try this again going to take a break here and then we'll fight hopefully it goes better okay i am back uh so we have pretty much done everything we can to prepare for the night we have three people who will help us now I have gone through our equipment. We have um, Murdoch's quest done to get the blacksmith, the smithy to help us. We have talked to Sir Perth and got holy protection, or what he believes is holy protection at least. Mother Hannah's amulets have greatly bolstered my men's confidence. You couldn't have armed us with any better than our faith in the Maker. I distributed Mother Hannah's amulets to the other knights. It is encouraging to think the Maker watches over us in our hour of need. Overall, my fellow knights are nervous about the coming battle. Death is almost certain, but we will fight and die valiantly if that's what the Maker demands. No, nothing comes to mind. If you have not spoken to the Mayor, Murdoch, you should. His militia is far more in need of aid than we are. Ask me whatever you wish. I'm not sure. Murdoch mentioned a blacksmith in the village, but I believe the militia is using everything he had. Beyond that, you might try the village store. It's locked up, but there may be items of use still within. I do not know. <laughs> Did he just tell me to unlock the door to get inside? It's okay, I don't need anything there. Ugh, a fellow named Lloyd runs it. He refuses to close and evacuate to the Chantry. I suppose he might still have something to sell you, though I wouldn't encourage dealing with a fool. He's a profiteer and nothing more. Mm. Okay. As you wish, Grey Warden. Make a watch over you. Okay. Why does he have the little quest symbol, though? Is it just because he's important? Because Murdoch doesn't have it anymore. I guess it's because I, st I have the oil he could use. No word from the castle? No, all is still, as it has been for days. And it is an unnatural stillness, as though there is naught in there but death. Say no more. The Arl lives, and I will not listen to your inauspicious chatter. But the thing is, using the oil lights this on fire, and any warriors who walk in that will also be lit on fire. <laughs> don't know how I feel about that. Maybe it would help. 
The Knights of Redcliffe are ready to fight at your disposal. No one told me of this. Oil, you say? How much exactly? Assuming that would hurt them. Yes, I see what you have in mind. That might be effective, if used carefully. Yes, excellent idea. I'll send some men to collect the oil. We'll use it to slow these creatures down. Have you anything else to ask me in the meantime? As you wish, Grey Warden. Make a watch over you. Thanks. Okay. So, Sir Pert's ready, Murdoch and the Militia's ready. Uh, I've decided to use the oil because I think it might help, but I'll have to switch and make tell them to move a lot. Uh, yeah, I guess this is... This is what we get. Do I want to talk to Sir Pert to start this or Murdoch? The Knights of Redcliffe are ready to fight at your disposal. There is still time before the sun goes down. If you have not yet spoken to Murdoch, or if there is anything you have planned... <coughs> Good luck to you then, and may the Maker watch over us all. Mm, agreed. Jeez. <laughs> They're coming! Get to your positions! Make ready! Light the traps! Burn these foul creatures! Um, actually... But for now, until until the well, no. I can tell they get closer. I mean, I could, but I'll just leave it. I'll just leave it. Quickly, we must fight. Okay, do not, do not. See, Alistair, you are burning. That's why I said don't. I wish I could tell them to move because this <laughs> is how they die. <laughs> uh, hold. Freaking Alistair's gonna die. He's so dumb! <laughs> no, sir, get out of the fire! Come, let us end this! Oh, they've lost Must their... Fight. The monsters are attacking from the lake! They're attacking the barricades! We, we need, need help. help! Come on! We need to hurry! I do 
that so you can restart it. You can start earning more stamina. Do I have... Sorry, tactics. Is this pause it? Good. Um... I want... P is... Health less than... Five. Then I want you to... Same with, um, so this is just, uh, if I'm attacking them, she attacks them as well. So I'm actually gonna switch this to if her health gets too low, she heals. She'll, yeah, they keep that. So if I close this and open it, that's still the same, right? Perfect. So now they will, they will heal. Um, self help. Okay, ally help. Okay. Um, speaking of which, yes, they all have health potions in their inventory. He died. Was was that Murdoch? Fisherman. Buster and Militia. Thomas. As you say. Very well. I want to keep. I want to make sure Thomas stays alive. But the more militia to stay alive, the better as well. I shall do. Now Man, and it drops his armor. Oh, that's so sad. I shall do I don't have any. Okay. Um. Is. Just died. 
right? Jeez. There's... Do I have any... I don't have any health potions left. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Another wave. What kind of? Oh, you are Come and get it. Let's make this quick. Get back. Don't be a I have to I have to go back to the earlier area as well. As you say. Thomas is gonna die. Die Thomas. I actually I do believe his death is increasing. Still trying. I shall do that! Let's do this quicker! I, all of the militia men died. As you I wasn't able to raid those guys. Dawn arrives, and we survive the night. I we swear are I victorious. Had to go back. I'm glad I didn't. And though this victory came at great cost, we must remember none of us would be here were it not for the heroism of these good folk beside me. I thank you, dear lady. Truly, the Maker smiled on us when he sent you here in our darkest hour. Let us bow our heads and give honor to those who gave their lives in defense of Redcliffe. Murdoch of Redcliffe, Mayor and beloved father, I'm we sorry. salute you. You and so many others who have perished here. I wonder if I could save him. with he who is your Maker. Long may you know the peace of his love. With the Maker's favor, the blow we delivered today is enough for me to enter the castle and seek out your Arl. Be wary and watch for signs of renewed attack. We shall return with news as soon as we are able. Now we've no time to waste. Meet me at the mill. We can talk further there. All right. level up your cunning because I want you to be able to pick locks. Many locks. I wanted to read the quest update. Odd how quiet the castle looks from here. You would think there was nobody inside at all. But I shouldn't delay things further. I had a plan. To enter the castle after the village was secure. There is a secret passage here, in the mill, accessible only to my family. 
I had no idea what lurked in the castle, and I couldn't abandon the people of the village. What if... Maker's breath. Tigan. Thank the Maker you yet live. Isolde. You're alive. How did you... What has happened? I do not have much time to explain. I slipped away from the castle as soon as I saw the battle was over. And I must return quickly. And I... need you to return with me, Tiga. Alone. What? Uh, who is this woman, Tigan? You remember me, Lady Isolde, don't you? Alistair. Of all the... Why are you here? They are Grey Wardens, Isolde. I owe them my life. Pardon me, I... I would exchange pleasantries, but... Considering the circumstances... Please, Lady Isolde, we had no idea anyone was even alive within the castle. We must have some answers. I know you need more of an explanation, but I... I, I don't know what is safe to tell. Tigan, there is a terrible evil within the castle. The dead waken and, and hunt the living. The maid responsible was caught, but still it continues. And I think Connor is going mad. We have survived, but he won't flee the castle. He has seen so much death. You must help him, Tigan. You are his uncle. You could reason with him. I do not know what else to do. For Connor's sake, I promised I would return quickly and only with Tigan. Promised? Whom did you promise? Something the mage unleashed. So far it allows him and Connor and myself to live. The others were not so fortunate. It killed so many, and turned their bodies into walking nightmares. Once it was done with the castle, it struck the village. It wants us to live, but I do not know why. It allowed me to come for you, Tigan, because I begged, because I said Connor needed help. I... I do not know. Oh, Maker's mercy. Could it truly be a demon? I can't let it hurt my Connor. You must come back with me, Tigan. Please. He is an infiltrator, I think. One of the castle staff. We discovered he was poisoning my husband. That is why Eamon fell ill. Eamon was poisoned? He claims an agent of Terran Loganes hired him. He may be lying, however. I cannot say. I... I beg your pardon? That's a rather impertinent accusation. Yeah, but it's true. <laughs> Not if it's true! An evil I cannot fathom holds my son and the husband hostage. Came for help. What more do you want from me? Tigan, I do not have much time. What if it thinks I'm betraying it? It could kill Connor! Please come back with me. Must I beg? The king is dead, and we need my brother now more than ever. I will return to the castle with you, Isol. Oh, thank the Maker. Bless you, Tigan. Bless you. I have no illusions of dealing with this evil alone. You, on the other hand, have proven quite formidable. Isolde, can you excuse us for a moment? We must confer in private before I return to the castle with you. Please do not take too long. I will be by the bridge. Here's what I propose. I go in with Isolde, and you enter the castle using the secret passage. My signet ring unlocks the door. Perhaps I will distract whatever evil is inside and increase your chances of getting in unnoticed. What do you say? I wish I knew. I don't know any more about this evil force than Isolde seems to. Sir Perth and his men can watch for danger at the castle entrance. If you can open the gates from within, they can move in and help you. 
I don't think there's anyone else who can help you. If you choose not to go, then it's up to me to do what I can. Here is my signet ring. It will open the lock on the door in the mill. Whatever you do, Eamon is the priority here. If you have to, just get him out of there. Isolde, me, and anyone else, we are expendable. You're a good woman. The Maker smiled on me indeed when he sent you to Redcliffe. So we are just going to send him with that woman? It seems so dangerous. But I can delay no longer. Allow me to bid you farewell. And good luck. Yeah, he's not gonna... that's not gonna end well for him. Castle time, I guess. Ah! Enough! Oh, sorry, Liliana. Oh. Ah! Away with you! I shall do it. All right, battle it is then. Right then. Nothing <laughs> I think we'll work well together. Hello? Explore, but okay. Is there someone out there? Who is it? By all that's holy you. Hello. I can't believe it. Hello, Jowen. Maker's breath, how did you get here? I never thought I'd see you again of all people. You've spoken with her. Then you know I poisoned Al Eamon. For all I know, he's already dead. He's not? That's a relief. I can't tell you how much. Please, I know how it seems. Poisoning the Arl was a, a terrible thing. But I'm not behind everything else happening here, I swear! Before I say anything else, I need to ask you a question. You can do whatever you feel you need to afterward, but I need to know. What became of Lily? They didn't hurt her, did they? The thought that she might have paid for my crime. Oh, my poor Lily, she must hate me now, if she even lives. What have I done? So, here we are again, the two of us. What happens now? I... I know it looks suspicious, but I'm not responsible for the creatures and the killings in the castle. I was already imprisoned when all that began. At first, Lady Isolde came here with her men, demanding that I reverse what I'd done. I thought she meant my poisoning of the Arl. That's the first I heard about the walking corpses. She thought I'd summoned a demon to torment her family and destroy Redcliffe. She... had me tortured. There was nothing I could do or say that would appease her. So, they left me to rot. I was instructed to by Terran Loghain. I was told that Arl Eamon was a threat to Ferelden. That if I dealt with him, Loghain would settle matters with the Circle. All I wanted was to be able to return. But he abandoned me here, didn't he? Everything's fallen apart. I never thought it would end like this. Maker, I've made so many mistakes. I've disappointed so many people. I wish I could go back and fix it. I just want to make everything right again. Well, it's a start, maybe. I don't know if anything I do could ever make it right. Connor had started to show... signs. Lady Isolde was terrified the Circle of Magi would take him away for training. Connor? A mage? I can't believe it. She sought an apostate, a mage outside the circle, to teach her son in secret so he could learn to hide his talent. Her husband had no idea. How much magic did you teach? Not much. He didn't even pass his harrowing. Some. 
But he's still very young. He can barely cast a minor spell, never mind something more powerful. At least not intentionally. I have thought about it, and it's possible Connor could have inadvertently done something to tear open the veil. With the veil to the Fade torn, spirits and demons could infiltrate the castle. Powerful ones could kill and create those walking corpses. Yep. Because he would be taken away, forever. A mage cannot inherit a title, even the son of a powerful Arl. She's also a pious woman. Her son having magic was... humiliating. No, she was adamant that he never find out. She said that he'd do the right thing, even if it meant losing their son, and that infuriated her. The Arl's a decent man. I wondered how he could possibly be the threat Loghain said he was, but I did it anyway. I'm such a fool. I'm just sick of running away and hiding from what I've done. I'm going to try to fix it any way I can. We were friends once. I know I don't deserve to call you that after what I did. If it ever meant anything, please help me fix this. He wishes to redeem himself. Doesn't everyone deserve that chance? Jowen has good intentions, but a blood mage? I... I find it difficult to trust his words. He's your friend. You know him best. Give me a chance. Please. <sighs> I could leave him in the cell, and probably the Earl will deal with him. I could let him out, or I could kill him. I, well, I tried to save anyone still up there. There must be something I can do. I'm glad you think so. So what now? <sighs> My opinion is I either leave him in for the Earl to deal with, because I really don't like making these kind of decisions um, or I let him out I don't want to kill him I'm just I'm gonna let him out you're letting me out and what then I'm He's not sure that's going. a good idea yeah I'd like to help out but I'm not so sure I want to follow you into danger exactly <laughs> beggars can't be choosers come or stay there <laughs> I won't, I promise. I will find a way to fix this somehow. Wynne will probably disapprove of this. Lillian might approve. I don't know how Alistair's feelings would be, though. Yeah, Alistair disapproves. Minus five. Yikes. I'm sorry. Can I talk what to do you him need? now? Ask away. Approve of me. Approve of me. <laughs> Such as they are. About the Grey Wardens, anyhow. Fair enough. What do you need? <sighs> Never mind. <laughs> oh, minus five. Dang it. I Very wonder well. if Morrigan would have approved of that choice. <laughs> it's fine. I'll take. I'll take the minus five. Unfortunate, but yes. Oh no. It's unfortunate, but I feel like Alistair is someone I can get more approval with. At least relatively easily. Because he's, he's plus nine. Isn't the greatest, but you know. Plus 15 for win. Nice. Liliana's plus 16. They're all still neutral because they don't like me enough to not be, but. Oh hey, I. Wait. I shall do it. I was like, I swear I recognize this place. Oh, I accidentally left. Yes? There we go. It shall be done. Oh, no, it is begun. It 
As you say. Money. Power bones. It shall be done. Hey, your health potion. I'm not looking forward to this. And here we are, in the unknown. From this point on, I do not know what happens. Which is... A little scary. It shall be done. You fall in your hand! Okay. Allow me. I could do that for you. It says can't unlock. Watch out! Take that! Don't give them the advantage! Let's end this! Ah, uh, yeah, see it says greater than or equal to. Okay, because I was like, dang, they use that potion fast. So I want if your health is... Because this is... Health is less than 100, right? Is that, is that how this works? I don't know. I want it if your health is less than 25%. Yeah, because this is when, if it's less than 50, then she heals. Okay, so if your health is less than... Yeah, less than... Okay. It shall be done. This is nice. Not that I'm overwhelmed. It is 
begun. are probably where some of the knights would stay. I shall do it. Ah! I shall do it. Ah! Push them back! As you say. Begun. Ooh, Alistair, that's so nice. Not to invite my mother. It shall be done. Come, let us end this! I shall do it. Our skill has won the day! It shall be done. Gain a combat tactic strat, stealing, trap making, survival, or poison. Let's just do. So Liliana knows poison. I know herbalism, so I guess I could do traps or combat tactics. And then also, because he has higher strength, I think, yeah, he can equip the Templar armor. Which, <laughs> uh, okay, which is much better. And look at all these guys, because so many of the militia died. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> Liliana knows there's a trap there. That's cool. As you say, she gets on Make a reserve. Watch out! It shall be done. Okay, you detected the trap. Yes! Go Liliana! <gasps> I got an achievement! Okay. I'm glad she can see traps, begun. even though I haven't, <laughs> like I'm not controlled. Let us end very well. As you say. Alright, back on the then. I'll try to be mad at you. Can't unlock. Okay. So this hallway just looks like it goes down and it'll end soon, so I'm going to see the rest of this hallway. Just in case there's... there's probably more fights. We must strike. Thank you, guys. I never like this part! Okay, start with you now! It is begun. Oh, going to Come, let us end this! It shall be done. Hopefully. There's more treasure. Alistair, what please. now? You were in my way. That's what now. Jeez. Funny. Oh, hey. Very well. Nice to see you alive. Sorry, 
I'm so frightened. These monsters are everywhere. My... My name's Valena. The Arlesa's maid. I, is she... All right. What happened to everyone? You know my father. I want to go back to the village. Is there a way out of here? But... But the monsters... I'll find my way. I can run fast and I know the castle. Thank you. Black. <gasps> Yay! Approval! Quest updated. Make sure she made it back to the village. You should check on her when you have the time to make it sure she made it back safely. I mean, I have time. This is fine. <laughs> I could I could do like the whole castle and check in her check on her after, I guess. But nah, I'm just going to going to go now. I don't know if it makes a difference if I wait to check in on her or if I do it now, but I'm doing it now. The end is upon us! The dead rise and foul yes. magics! Repent your sins before death! Beg for the Maker's divine forgiveness! <laughs> I... I don't mean to. I, I just need to tell everyone. They need to know. They need to repent before... Before it's too late. I was too late for my wife. She died... So horribly. And she... She was not repented. I need... I need to help everyone. To prepare. Help me? There is no help for me. I just miss my wife so much. That's so sad. This is all so horrible. I I think I just need to sit down. I need to collect myself. Yeah, good job. Just get out. You're welcome. My Valena returned. She told me of your daring rescue. I can't begin to tell you how grateful I am. Yay. Take this. A reward for your deed. It's dwarven made and should serve you well. Thank you again. I'm forever in your debt. Yay. Thank you, my lady. I'd never have been able to return to my father if it wasn't for you. Received. Shield of Dwarven Armor. It requires higher strength, but I think what he has now, yeah, is much better. Oh, she has enough strength for it. It is, it is better. Nice. Let's go. Glad I went to check in on him. Because the castle does not bode to be easy. Very well.
loot. Corp skull. Alright, cool. These things can have a lot of I shall do it. As you say. More? Not yet. Yes? Oh, sorry. Yes. Take it. Take it all. A letter. Ah, more correspondence interruptions. <laughs> you are filthy, a beast. Okay, that's the one I read. My darling Reginald, I burn for you and because of you. Please use this enclosed tunicure of our love, if our love is to endure. Sorry. Sorry? I don't know. Oh boy. This isn't, uh... This isn't foreboding at all! I honestly think I'd prefer enemies to be here than to see nothing. This is very, uh... Ah, uh, there they are! There has to be some somewhere, right?
See, I knew there had to be enemies somewhere. They couldn't just leave a big courtyard empty. I need to go. But I'm going to check around here. Okay. Oh, nothing I'm missing. Main floor. This is so creepy without music. <laughs> I mean, like, there is music, so but, like, So these are our visitors. Music. The ones you told me about, Mother. Yeah, he's yes. possessed. Connor. And this is the one who defeated my soldiers. The ones I sent to reclaim my village. Yes. And now it's staring at me. What is it, Mother? I can't see it well enough. This is an elf, Connor. You... You've seen elves before. We have them here in the castle. Oh, I remember. I had their ears cut off and fed to the dogs. The dogs chewed for hours. <laughs> Shall I send it to the kennels, Mother? Connor, I beg you. Don't hurt anyone. Ma Mother? What? What's happening? Where am I? Oh, thank the Maker. Connor! Connor, can you hear me? Get away from me, fool woman! You are beginning to bore me! Grey Warden, please don't hurt my son. He is not responsible for what he does. He is possessed, though. Connor didn't mean to do this. It was that mage, the one who poisoned Eamon. He started all this. He summoned this demon. Connor was just trying to help his father. It was a fair deal. Father is a liar, just as I wanted. Now it's my turn to sit on the throne and send out armies to conquer the world. Nobody tells me what to do anymore. Nobody tells him what to do. Nobody. Ha 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 ha. Quiet, uncle. I warned you what would happen if you kept shouting, didn't I? Yes, I did. But let's keep things civil. This woman will have the audience she seeks. Tell us, woman, what have you come here for? Oh, I was hoping to find Andy. <laughs> Even here to help if I can. <laughs> no reason, I think I'll just leave. Came to stop you. Well, I mean... I did come to stop him, and see the Arl. Kinda to make sure Ben Tegan was alive, I guess. And help. I want to help. This make him angry? Let's do this one. <laughs> um... Yeah. To help me? To help father? To help yourself? Which? Oh, all three. All three. Except the demon, I'm not helping him. I guess that's who I'm talking about. But... I was just having fun. Everyone else had fun too. Are you having fun, Uncle? Marmalade! You see? <laughs> We're having fun. I think you're just trying to spoil things. What do you think, Mother? I think it's threatening me. I... I don't think... Of course you don't. Ever since you sent the knights away, you do nothing but deprive me of my fun. Frankly, it's getting dull. I crave excitement and action. This woman spoiled my sport by saving that stupid village. And now, she'll repay me. Okay, cool. Yeah! Oh, I have to fight Ben Tegan. Unfortunate. Just die already! It is begun. Uh, 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 now! Uh, it shall be done. Uh, but! Uh, it shall be done. You should run while you can! Uh, 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 it 
it shall be done. Uh -oh. There is no Let's glory. make this quick. Watch out! Make her. I wonder where the next place is that I can get more from. Clear space by destroying, selling, or equipping or purchase a backpack with bigger size. Tegan! Oh, Tegan! Are you alright? I am better now, I think. My mind is my own again. Blessed Andraste. I would never have forgiven myself had you died. Not after I brought you here. I should have sold those armor sets to Please. Who were the Connor's sword. not responsible for this. There must be some way we can save him. I Yes. I didn't tell you because I believed we could help him. I still do. I'm sorry, my lady. But Connor has become an abomination. He's no longer your son. You! You did this to Connor! I didn't. I didn't summon any demon. I told you. Please, if you'll let me help. Help? You betrayed me! I brought you here to help my son, and in return you poisoned my husband? This is the mage you spoke of? Didn't you say he was in the dungeon? Oh yeah, I he let him was. out. was. I assumed the creatures had killed him by now. Yeah, that was me. He must have been set free. He's no more the, to blame than you are. I stand by my decision. Yep. I know what you must think of me, my lady. I took advantage of your fear. I'm sorry. I never knew it would come to this. Well, I shan't turn away his help. Not yet. And if Connor is truly an abomination... He's not always the demon you saw. Connor is still inside him, and sometimes he breaks through. Please, I just want to protect him. Isn't that what started this? You hired the mage to teach Connor in secret, to protect him. If they discovered Connor had magic, then they'd take him away. I thought if he learned just enough to hide it, then... The demon in Connor needs to be destroyed. Killing Connor is the easiest way to do that, certainly. But there is another way. A mage could confront the demon in the Fade, without hurting Connor himself. What do you mean? Is the demon not within Connor? Not physically. The demon approached Connor in the Fade while he dreamt, and controls him from there. We can use the connection between them to find the demon. You can enter the Fade, then? And kill the demon w without hurting my boy? No, but I can enable another mage to do so. It normally requires lyrium and, and several mages. But I have... blood magic. Yes, that's right. The ritual I know, it requires life energy. A lot of it. All of it, in fact. So... Someone must die? Someone must be sacrificed? Yes, and then we send another mage into the Fade. I can't enter because I'm doing the ritual. Maybe I shouldn't have said anything. It's not much of an option. The power has to come from somewhere, and that means either lyrium or blood. Then let it be my blood. I will be the sacrifice. What? Isolde, are you mad? Eamon would never allow this. Either someone kills my son to destroy that thing inside him, or I give my life so my son can live. To me, the answer is clear. Blood magic. How can more evil be of any help here? Two wrongs don't make a right. Can we even trust this Jowan to do as he promises? I trust him. Give him but access to such power, and who I knows what he I also flee the circle do? of mages. I so. am uneasy. Connor is blameless in this. He should not have to pay the price. You're the mage here, not I, my friend. It's you who will be going into the Fade. The decision is yours. Ah, 
how do I get how do I tell them I have a circle tower full of mages because he said it either takes like multiple mages or he can do it just the one but I, I have mages I literally have wind standing behind me I have Morrigan though I don't know how much she'd want to be involved I have where is my option for the you can find Lyrium and more mages at the circle of magi yes, thank they you even do it indeed it should not be difficult to get what is needed provided we have the time but what will happen here Connor will not remain passive forever. Very well. I will keep Jowan here as a precaution. He says he wants to help, so he will keep an eye on Connor with us. Go to the tower quickly, then. The longer you are away, the greater the chances of disaster. Okay. I won. I shall do it. Oh, nice. Okay. Is there just a quick let's go? Yes. Second floor. Quick, I guess. Do I have to go all the way out? Can I open the gates? Ah, gates are open. Heck yes, let's go. What is it? Do I have to go? Yeah, I have to go all the way around again. <laughs> Alright, cool. And a battle. How fun. Or an encounter of some sort. Oh, thank the Maker. We need help. They attacked the wagon. Please help us. Follow me. I'll take you to them. Are you talking about bandits? Is this a trap? Wow, I'm really distrustful. I'm like, dang, she's like, she's gonna lead us into bandits. She's the bait. <laughs> yeah. Not bandits. Hello, Seven. Grey Warden dies here! More enemies ahead! Right, well, I don't plan on dying, so... Ed. I still oh, remember my first out. battle! <laughs> oh. 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 Don't give them the advantage! Oh. As you said. Oh no, I don't have a good luck. Very well. Oh. 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 It is begun. Oh. It shall be done. That's it. I hope I don't get blood all over me again. Very well. You are for Push it. them back. As you say. I never loved you. Can I rub stuff after the battle, or do I like have to do it now? Right ahead. Right ahead. Uh, apparently, uh, <gasps> the friends of Red Jenny. Oh, I forgot my inventory was full. A new quest. I should do it. I just want to take all our money. Ready! You detected a trap, and I would like you to get rid of it. Oh, do you automatically do it? That's nice. Right away. Send me. It was either okay. I was like, it was either automatic or she already sent it. Like, already. That guy's still over there. Okay, is that where we heading? No, she obviously. I 
would wake up dead, or not wake up at all, as the case may be. But I see you haven't killed me yet. Hi. Ah, so I am to be interrogated. Let me save you some time. My name is Zevran. Zev to my friends. I am a member of the Antivan Crows, brought here for the sole purpose of slaying any surviving Grey Wardens, which I have failed at, sadly. I'd rather have you face me. I can tell you that. They are an order of assassins out of Antiva, very powerful and renowned for always getting the job done, so to speak. Someone went to great expense to hire this man. Quite right. I'm surprised you haven't heard much of the crows out here. Back where I come from, we're rather infamous. <laughs> Why not? I wasn't paid for silence. Not that I offered it for sale, precisely. You were paid to talk by you. <laughs> Consider it something I'm throwing in for free. As it is, if you're done with the interrogation, I have a proposal for you, if you're of a mind. Well, here's the thing. I failed to kill you, so my life is forfeit. That's how it works. If you don't kill me, the crows will. Thing is, I like living. And you obviously are the sort to give the crows pause, so let me serve you instead. <laughs> thing is, I like living. <laughs> Well, let's see. Being allowed to live would be nice, and would make me marginally more useful to you. And somewhere down the line, if you should decide that you no longer have need of me, then I go on my way. Until then, I am yours. Is that fair? What? You're taking the assassin with us now? Does yeah. that really seem like a good idea? <laughs> yeah, it does. Hmm. All right. <laughs> yeah! Well, I see your point. Still, yeah. if there was a sign we were desperate, I think it just knocked on the door and said hello. Welcome, Zevran. <laughs> Having an Antivan crow join us sounds like a fine plan. Oh, you are another companion to be, then? I wasn't aware such loveliness existed amongst adventurers, surely. Or maybe not. <laughs> I hereby pledge my oath of loyalty to you until She's such a time lesbian. as you choose to release me from it. <laughs> I am your man, without reservation. This I swear. Yay! Can I loot the bodies now? Can I go loot the bodies? I think their conversations would be interesting. Horse feathers. Yes. <laughs> Alistair disapproves. I well, Liana does approve though. I'm sorry, Alistair. I'm just doing all of these decisions that he disapproves of. But ah, oh, dang, my freaking inventory. Critical chance on the equipped is better, armature protection is better, range is worse. So this one can shoot further but does... has a slightly less critical chance but the damage is the same. So let's keep what he has. It's done. <laughs> For Alistair, I shall do what it. What are you doing? And I'm like, friends. Yes. Do I still have? Oh, Song Valor. I love it. 
Okay, now, do you... Is there... Yes, thank you. You really killed all those abominations? I didn't think it was possible. I thought we'd all die here. I'm sure you need supplies after that, don't you? Yes. Thank you. You can have that. And that. All five of them. And that. And that. And those. And those. And those. And those. And... You can have that. I'll keep that. Um... Have that. Uh, it depends on what we're fighting, really, but I think I'll keep the physical resistance and get rid of the others. I don't need rings. <laughs> okay, I do want help. Help. Okay, I want lyrium potions. You don't. I was like, you don't happen to have another backpack, do you? No. No, I'm not very surprised. Alright. Now I have 66 inventory spaces used. So I have like 44 left. Nice. You went above and beyond the call of duty for the Circle. You have done us proud. To save a possessed child. The child is possessed. But killing the demon would mean killing the... Unless you intend to enter the Fade. Yes. Yes, it can be done with a group of mages. I shall gather what mages I can, and we shall leave promptly. A life is at stake. Yes! Save the child. Then put him in the circle. <laughs> I have mixed feelings about the circle, because it's very prisony. I like its, its intended purpose... Um, before fear and pride and all those different things came into play to teach mages in a safe place how to wield their magic because there's that vulnerability you get from the fade but also it's lost I mean it still teaches mages but it's a lost it's lost a lot of that and now what you get is more of a prison with Templars who were supposed to protect you from abominations and just take care of those. Some of them absolutely hate mages no matter what. And you get towers like this with like zero windows or As you outside said. contact. And it's very, it's very sad. Anyway, let's head to the... The Blight. How will you end it? Uh. Is that all? It is surrounded by an ocean of darkspawn. How will you reach it? If you reach it, how will you slay it? You say you are a Grey Warden. I have heard stories of this order. Great strategists and peerless warriors. That is what we hear of the Wardens. <laughs> so so not far, impressed. I am not impressed. I'm not here to impress you. I'm new to the Wardens. Evidently not. It remains only to see what you are here for. <laughs> look, Sten, Sten, the plan, look, we even have a plan. We gather all the people, we go and fight the war, they clear a path to the Archdemon, and we slay it. How we slay it? Well, either we give up our life, or I know this much, we have Morgan have a demon kind of old god baby. Yeah, it's kind of a little, you know. You and your friends are formidable folk, indeed. It's good to have you along on the road. Hmm. I suppose since you told me about you being a Grey Warden, it's only fitting for me Which to I be as we'll open. Do. I think we'll have I am to. originally from Orzammar, the famed dwarven city that lies beneath the stately Frostback Mountains. I was a merchant there, too. Merchant caste. 
These things are in the blood, you know. You can't just leave them behind. I ran a fairly successful business. Rare artifacts, you know. Old things, grand things. The nobles loved them. Reminded them of the lost glory days, I suppose. One day, a noble woman came to my stall. She looked around for a bit and then started shrieking in dismay. Apparently, she believed that a pair of braces I had for sale once belonged to her brother. He'd been lost in a cave-in, you see, while on an expedition to clear out the darkspawn from one of the tunnels running close to the city. They were made specially for him. They're unique, she shrieked. He stole them from my poor brother's corpse. She had me arrested on the spot, of course. Nobles, they're touchy like that. Well, I didn't steal them. You see, I, I had been paying these castless thugs to venture out into the deep roads for me. The lost tags. Th they're full of things that people left behind. Sometimes you can find a treasure. Something worth a little gold. That's exactly how I see it. The noble woman, she wasn't too happy with the theft of her brother's braces. I don't know what they planned for me, and I didn't want to find out. Bribed the guard that was watching me and took off for the surface first opportunity I got. Never look back. You're quite welcome. Now, is there anything the boy or I can get you? I'm sure you'll be pleased with the goods my boy... And I get a discount. Oh, backpack. Backpack. Yes. <sighs> That's it. I don't actually need to buy anything. I guess I can use some flasks. How many? I don't know. Like ten? Yeah, sure. Let's get some health potions. Because <laughs> we saw how the Battle of Red Cliff went things don't look like they're going to get so much easier. <laughs> Enchantment? Enchantment! I have no items to enchant. Well, unfortunate. Stun. What do you need? You don't have to do that. I know you didn't know him as long as I did. I... I should have handled it better. Duncan warned me right from the beginning that this could happen. Any of us could die in battle. I shouldn't have lost it, not when so much is riding on us, not with the blight and... and everything. You don't have I'm to be sorry. sorry for mourning. I'd like to have a proper funeral for him. Maybe once this is all done, if we're still alive. I don't think he had any family to speak of. I think he came from High Eber, or so he said. Maybe I'll go up there sometime, see about putting up something in his honor. Have you had someone close to you die? Not that I mean to pry, I'm just... That must have felt a lot like when I got sent to the Chantry. You mages don't even get a say in the matter, after all. Thank you. Really, I mean it. It was good to talk about it, at least a little. Plus four. A proof of me. Here I am. Oh, this should be good. Go ahead. Oh, you wish to know about Antiva, do you? The only way to truly appreciate it would be to go there. It is a warm place, not cold and harsh like this Ferelden. In Antiva it rains often, but the flowers are always in bloom. Or so the saying goes. 
It is fine enough with its dogs and its mud. <laughs> the people are spirited, even if they can't tell the difference between an assassin and a mere killer. I hail from the glorious Antiva city, home to the royal palace. It is a glittering gem amidst the sand, my Antiva city. Do you come from someplace comparable? No. My mother was better than any gem. No. No? That is too bad. If you were, then surely you would spend as much time boasting about it as I do. <laughs> mm. You know what is most odd? We speak of my homeland, and for all its wine and its dark-haired beauties and the lilo flutes of the minstrels, I miss the leather the most. I mean the smell. For years, I lived in a tiny apartment near Antiva City's leather-making district, in a building where the crows stored their youngest recruits, packed in like crates. I grew accustomed to the stench, even though the humans complained of it constantly. To this day, the smell of fresh leather is what reminds me most of home more than anything else. <laughs> oh, not so long, I know. It is my first time away from Antiva, however, and the thought of never returning makes me think of it constantly. Before I left, I was tempted to spend what little coin I possessed on leather boots I spotted in a store window. Finest Antivan leather. Perfect craftsmanship. Ah, but I was a fool to leave them. I thought, ah, Zevran, you can buy them when you return as a reward for a job well done. More the fool I, no? True, and it's a comforting thought. One simply never knows what is to come next. How could I have suspected I would end up defeated by a beautiful Grey Warden? A woman who then spares my life. I could not. <laughs> I say you are beautiful because it is true. Should I not? It's... And glad I am to hear it. Now, if it is all the same to you, I would prefer not to speak more of Antiva. It makes me wistful and hungry for a proper meal. You know, that's mood. Plus four. Yeah. Yeah. Approve me. Oh, it's been a long day. Rest. Rest would be welcome. Yes, yes, of course. I am just a little weary. As you may have noticed, I'm no spring chicken. <laughs> Thank you. You're very kind to say so. But in all honesty, I do not know how many years I have left in me. I have lived for such a long time, but there is always something else to do. And I have to keep going in order to do it. I think I will be glad when I am done. Oh, I don't know. I really don't. No, just plus one. That's okay. I don't know where his... I mean, Zebra just shared a lot. I don't know her that well. Yes? Well, here I am. What is meant by someone like me? Did you think I was always a cloistered sister? The Chantry provides succor and safe harbor to all who seek it. I chose to stay and become affirmed. We affirm our belief in the Maker, in Andraste and the Chant, but other than that, there are no vows taken. I was a traveling minstrel in Orlais. Tales and songs were my life. I performed, and they rewarded me with applause and coin. And my skill in battle? Well, you pick up different skills when you travel, yes? Yes, of course. Um, let's move on. She didn't approve, but I get it, did get a codex update, so that's nice. Already talked to Alistair. I bet the dog. Oh, why you little? <laughs> oh, you're so funny. Such rapier wit. Your <laughs> furry friend here took offense at me getting near his food. He snapped at me. Look. Yeah. 
Sometimes I forget that he's a war dog. That'll teach me. I once heard a really old legend about how the hound warriors in the days of the old tribes would feed their Mabari the flesh of the vanquished. Well, that's what I heard anyway. It would sometimes be human flesh. Oh, like you can tell the difference. For all you know, maybe you've already been fed something. Someone. It's probably tasty. It's not cannibalism if he's eating it, you know. He's not wrong, but like... Look at what your fool dog placed in my pack. He's a putrid, <laughs> half-eaten hare is not something a woman wants to find in her unmentionables. The dirty mongrel can have this back. There. And tell him not to do it again. I don't want it, you worthless fur bag. Oh. <laughs> she just likes him so much. Oh, he's just trying to be manipulative. I can tell. I do it too. <laughs> I can tell I do it too. <laughs> oh. Okay. So that means I just haven't talked to... Well, I haven't talked to Sten, I guess. But he has 100% for approval and he approached me when we first camped, so I'll talk to Morgan then. What do you wish of me? If you must. Tis the child abomination you speak of from the haunted castle? If what you seek is to remove the demon from the child without harming the child, there is a way indeed. There is a connection between the child and the demon, one which can be followed to the demon's true form within the Fade. There, the demon can be battled directly. Only a mage may enter the Fade. It requires Lyrium and a group of mages to cast the ritual, neither of which we have, yes? Oh, we and have. had we those things, it would still fall on one mage alone to defeat the demon. No simple task, but there you have it. Okay. Let's head out then. Head back to Redcliffe. Uh, let's bring... Indeed. Indeed. Yes. Just because I haven't brought them out yet. I think it'll be fun. I want to know their conversations, especially Lilian and Zabrin. Uh Oh, another fight. Trap right ahead. Uh, right right ahead. Uh, Let us end them. Trap right ahead. Oh, I can see. Uh, I failed. Yeah, I'm just like playing myself. This arm failed. It says it's a flimsy trap. <coughs> I'll try to be more careful. <sighs> yes, of course. What level is he anyway? Our, well, first off, use this. And you are level... Where does it say? Why am I looking here? Until level 11. So you're level 10. Nice. A fruit. A fruit. <laughs> okay. Um, how do I leave? This way? Yes. 
Okay. I have leveled up. So let's increase. Which is the one? Okay. So probably some dexterity and, um, const constitution and will peril, actually, for right now. And then cone of cold. Can you want the castle? have brought Lyrium and begun preparations for the ritual. We can start any time. Yes, we haven't sufficient Lyrium at present to send more than one mage into the Fade. That's okay, I got this. <laughs> it truly depends on the manner of demon. It sounds like a spirit of greed and desire. One of the more powerful in the hierarchy. It will likely engage you in dialogue and tempt you with an offer. Avoid it. Making deals with demons never turns out well. Yep. Let's do this. Thing. Very well. I assume you are going into the Fade. Or did you have someone else in mind? Ooh. Could I play them if they went into the Fade? I don't trust Jowen because he's a blood mage, didn't finish his hair wing, and he's weak unless he's using blood magic. Um, Morrigan probably would not be very happy. I could send Wynn, but I'll go. Me? Confront oh, no. the demon. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, not twice. I'm sorry. I meant me as in myself. <laughs> I'm sorry. Good. I will go. Let us get the I probably could have. Uh, I probably could have convinced him with persuasion because I have really high persuasion, but I meant for me to go, <laughs> and I just clicked the wrong one. Oh. Okay. Ooh, it, Liliana approves. Yay. Okay, free the castle of the demon. Yes. Rituals has sent one of the mages into the Fade, and that mage must defeat the demon in the Fade to free Connor. Okay. Is that you, Connor? I can hear you! I'm coming! Is anyone out there? Hello! Father! Where are you? Oh, well, this is fun. I don't understand! So uh -oh. cold. I want to. Blessed art thou who exists in the sight of the Maker. You there? Have you seen my son? I can. I can hear him, but I cannot find him. This blasted fog has me turning in circles. The what? I don't understand. Is Connor here or not? Could I have him help me? But I must find Connor. Why is he in this place? Why do I feel so strange? Then leave me to find my son. Connor! Where are you? Speak to me, lad! I feel like there might be other dialogue options to help, but, uh, whatever. 
probably going to talk to Connor. Ooh, that's fun. Yep, there's Connor. Who are you? Are you the one that made father ill? Tell me now! How do I know that? You could be a liar. You could be a demon. I could be. Fool! You won't get near her. I won't let you. Very well. Oh! I shall do it. No! Away with you! I will not fail. That can't be it. I gotta go confront the dad then. Oh, bed. Nap time. Making father sick. Curse this blasted darkness. Why can I see nothing? Oh, there's Connor again. I'll help him. You can't stop me. Okay, no, that's the Get out here. of here. You have to get out. Why do you keep hurting me? Why are you trying to stop me? You will not find what you seek. Turn back. No! Trespasser! I will drive you out! As you say. Ah! No! It shall be done. More the fools, say. You! I will! I think this is the one I need. Yeah. Please here. forgive me. Wait, not. Father. Please forgive me. Father. I'll stop you! I will! As you say. This one's purple again. Hmm. It is begun. Okay, so another place. Another demon. Father wonders, seeking me, trapped within my web. All is as it should be. Why must you interfere? She needs him too. Part of him. The good part. She will not easily release it. No. It is time for you to go now. Do not persist, or things will go very badly for you. It shall be done. I shall do it. Oh. Hi, you're only like halfway. Very well. No more illusions. Now we meet face to face. You see my true form and stand in my domain. It is here I am most powerful. And yet I have no wish to engage your power. Nor should you be so eager to engage mine. Perhaps we should converse instead? I possess the boy's soul. We could battle for it, or we could negotiate like civilized beings. If you are smart, 
you could even come out ahead. I am desire. Whatever you creatures of the living world want, I seek to provide. Lust, power, greed. These are my province. Perhaps there are things you wish for. Let us pause and speak of them. It costs nothing but a moment of your time. Yeah, no thanks. Alas, that is sad. Very well then. If you wish a battle, you will have it. Let us see if your power matches your boldness, creature. Are you the only one? Because I don't very well. Oh. If we must fight, ah! let us do it quickly. Ah! No corner shall be given. If it is a battle, ah! I can give that. Uh, I see. As you say. Oh, and every time I attack the wrong one, she heals. Very well. It is begun. That is annoying. As you say, ah! Ah! I shall do it. Oh, there it goes. Well, dang, but hey, it also saved. I think the third crash I've had so far, which actually is pretty good for me playing this game. <laughs> okay, now I have to find the real one. Every time I'm wrong, the others heal. Very well. I think it's just whichever one I attack last, honestly. Tempest for the win. to do the battle over again so I don't lose anyone, but I'm not strong enough. So it is over. Oh, that's so sad. Connor is his old self. He does not seem to remember anything, which is a blessing. I suppose we will need to send him to the Circle of Magi's Tower for training once the war is over. It's so odd to think of the boy as a mage, of all things. Eamon has much to mourn and rebuild, should he recover. But at least he could be thankful that both his son and wife are safe. I owe you my deepest thanks. I had nearly... I can scarcely believe Connor is the boy he once was. There is still the matter of Jowan. His poisoning Eamon began this whole mess, yet he lives. I must decide what becomes of him. We will hold him for Eamon to decide his fate. If he doesn't recover, Jowan's fate is sealed. What do you think?
I kind of want him released, but at the same time, he's messed so many things up and caused so many problems. I'm just like, well, he's a blood mage. And that, not only can you not just be like, it's not just a source of power, it also, um, how the, how people have explained it, it corrupts the mind. And so... Maybe I'll just tell them to do what they want. You are a mage, and you know his faults better than anyone. I would trust your judgment. <sighs> I would not trust him, but I would not presume to tell my brother what to do. <sighs> I would... I would like to release. I want to know what happens. And <laughs> I know it's probably a dumb idea. I should probably just leave it up to the hands of Arl Eamon, but. Released? Are you mad? Yes, I am. Why would you do such a thing? I agree with Isolde. He's a Maleficar. We cannot simply unleash him on the land and ignore his crimes. <laughs> Very well. I shall have the mage imprisoned again, for now. But our task is not done okay, yet. Yeah. Whatever the demon did to my brother, it seems to have spared his life, but he remains comatose. We cannot wake him. The urn. The urn of sacred ashes will save Eamon. Thank you. I am grateful for your eagerness to help restore my husband. Find the brother Genitivi, the scholar, in Denerham. He has been researching the urn's location for several years now. The knights that returned say they were unable to find Jenny TV. But perhaps the Maker will lead you to him. I must go to the hall and begin rebuilding. I wish you luck, and may the Maker go with you. Thanks. Okay. Well, that is... That is that. Noise. How do I leave? Oh, nobody knows. Could talk to Connor, but eh. Oh. A double save game. Now I'm concerned. There's nothing for me to rob, is there? Um, I guess we go main floor? Okay, and... I shall do it. Oh, Allow me. I could do that for you. Can you? <gasps> yes. Yes, of course. <laughs> yes? Yes. I guess... Oh, courtyard. Perfect. This is indeed where I want to go. I'm gonna leave. Okay, so... There's still skeletons and bones out here. How beautiful. My options now... I need to seek out the Urn of Sacred Ashes. I have the... which is in Denarim. I have elves and dwarves. Or I could have... I could go to some of these side quests. I think I will do... Probably Soldier's Peak. That's such- that's a very long walk, honestly. I could do Sh Soldier's Pass. It's much closer. Um, but let's do- let's do Soldier's Peak. 
And then after that, I don't really want to head to Denerim until I finish the other two, but also I want to help the Earl. Yeah, probably. I think I might go to Denrim after then. But for now, we're just going to end it here. Um, and I will see you in the next episode. Have a good night, day, whatever time. And remember to drink water, stay hydrated, it's very important. Bye!